Good evening. Max Factor, the first name in beauty throughout the world, is happy to present Margaret and Barbara Whiting. Those Whiting Girls. People everywhere have proven Seb stops dandruff. And now comes a new product that only Max Factor could bring you. Seb Shampoo. Used regularly, it washes dandruff and itching scalp right out of your life. Think of it. No itching, no flaking, no dandruff problems when you use fast-foaming liquid Seb Shampoo. Pleasantly scented Seb Shampoo lets you say goodbye to messy creams and medical smelling shampoos that feel like a treatment. Gentle Seb Shampoo cannot dry hair. No after rinse ever needed. Leaves hair silky soft, easy to manage, dandruff free. Know the pure joy of hygienically clean hair and scalp. Get rid of your dandruff problems today. Remember, only healthy, hygienically clean hair can be truly beautiful hair. Make Max Factor New Liquid Seb Shampoo your regular family shampoo. Only $1.25. <laughs> What a cute skirt. Thanks, Shorty. <laughs> Margaret, you know, you really have very pretty legs. <laughs> well, I didn't know you cared. <laughs> but I'll bet if Marilyn Monroe were wearing that skirt, she'd have it, oh, at least an inch and a half shorter. Yeah, not only that, but she'd be standing on a grating. <laughs> Margaret, my point is... Your point is, my legs are so beautiful, I should shorten the skirt so you can wear it. Exactly. And let's shorten it right away so I can take it with me. Barbara, this is Margaret's skirt, and she... Take it with you where? Well, the semester's over, and I'm a little tired from exams, so I thought I'd go away for the weekend. Hey, that sounds like a nice idea, but I can't make it. Oh, come on, Margaret, we'll have fun. Maybe I haven't been paying attention, but... I don't remember inviting either of you. <laughs> well, who are you going with? I'm going alone. Alone? Don't you think you're a little young to be going stag? <laughs> of course not. I'm old enough to vote. What's that got to do with it? <laughs> Does this mean you're forbidding me to go? Well, no, no. I, I suppose you could go over to Pasadena. You could stay with Aunt Georgia. Oh, that'd be a real fun weekend. While she's taking her nap, I can sit in her chair and rock real fast. <laughs> well, uh, what about Santa Barbara? You remember that nice, quiet hotel, the Churchill Arms? I remember it well. It's for the newlywed and the nearly dead, and no, thank you. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going in to heat up my pablum. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm on the defensive. She is too young, isn't she? Well, all I know is that I was on the road singing when I was 19 and nothing happened. To you, no, but I aged 10 years. <laughs> Margaret, you know I'm not the kind of mother who, who clings to her children. I, I've always believed in that old saying, hold on to your children with open arms. <laughs> who said that? Who knows, some middle-aged bachelor. I'll get it. It's probably my babysitter. <laughs> Marcy, hi! Hello. 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 Oh, look who's here, it's the Marcy Paris Trio. Hi. Oh, it's so good to see you. Thank you. I know you never could tell by looking at me, but I'm about to become a father. <laughs> Can I get you anything? A chair? A pillow? A glass of water? <laughs> no, thank you. Anything? I'd like a pickle. <laughs> Sorry, little father. We haven't got one in the house. Barbara, the last time I saw you, you were practically in diapers. That's practically where they're still trying to keep me. <laughs> well, you know how it is, Barbara. Your family's always the last to let you grow up. Well, all that'll be different once you get married. Get married? I can't even get out of the house. <laughs> Barbara, I didn't definitely say no. Then I can go away for the weekend? Well, semi-definitely, yes. Oh, thank you. Actually, she's in a lot of trouble around the house. She said, Bonnie, where are you going? To get my suitcase. So soon? 
I'm awfully glad you three and a half stopped by. Well, we'll just be in town for a few hours. We're opening tomorrow. Oh? Where are you booked? The maternity ward? <laughs> no, the stand's in Las Vegas. Oh. Marcy, do you really think you should? Well, why? I never felt better in my life. And besides, I'll be flanked by these two quivering pillars of strength, my husband and my brother. <laughs> are you sure you haven't got a pickle? <laughs> Sorry. Not even an old wrinkled one? Well, we have a middle-aged cucumber, if you can wait. <laughs> well, we can't wait. We've got to catch a plane. Come on, fellas. <laughs> we'll see you when we get back All from right, Las honey. Vegas. Take care of yourself, little mother. Las Vegas is a wild and woolly place. Right. Have a good time. Bye. 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 <laughs> well, short stuff, where are you going to take your fling? Lake Arrowhead? Coronado Beach? Murrieta Hot Springs? <laughs> Marcy and the boys gave me the greatest idea. You know, I've never been to Las Vegas. <laughs> Las Vegas? Nevada? <laughs> I better start throwing your clothes in my suitcase. Oh, but Barbara, you can't go... Well, how do you like that? You raise children and the first chance they get, they run off and leave you. Isn't that supposed to be my line? <laughs> I heard you stirring about. What are you doing up? Doing? What do you mean, doing? I'm not doing anything but walking around. Is there anything unusual about that? That's right, I forgot. You always take a hike at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for some reason I couldn't sleep. Yeah, that's funny. For some reason I couldn't sleep either. You aren't worried, are you? Oh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? <laughs> of course not. She's perfectly all right. <laughs> well, certainly. After all, they have more policemen per capita in Las Vegas than any other place in America. <laughs> of course they have. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they need so many policemen? <laughs> oh, mother. After all, we're going to have to let the fledgling out of her nest sometime, even... Even if she hasn't all her feathers yet. <laughs> it's all her marbles I'm worried about. <laughs> well, after all, I, I know you must be right, Margaret. What did she take the weekend for? To rest from her exams. Of course. <laughs> you know, speaking of relaxation, I could use a little myself. I think I'll go away for the weekend, too. Good idea, so will I. You know, I've been dying to go to San Francisco. Well, I was thinking of going in the opposite direction, oh. Palm Springs, to soak up a little sun. Well, I guess I'd better be packing. Well, <laughs> yes, I guess we'd better. <laughs> <laughs> I have some other customers waiting. <laughs> Murder! Murder! I dropped the bundle. I stuck with the pass line. Roll after roll, nothing. So I tried to don't pass. Double nothing. Finally, it's my turn with the dice. I put down a hundred. I roll. My point's eight. I take odds on the hard way. Every chip I got. Well, what happened? If I didn't know better, I'd think the dice were loaded. Well, it's low when I seven out. She. Then would you like to sit down? Sit down? I gotta get some more chips. She. <laughs> oh, my dear, how nice to see you again. Isn't this an amusing little place? Down. 
get a nasty cough smoking too many napkins. <laughs> well, I only smoke them when I'm nervous. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put you on. I was just trying to be funny. Sorry. Uh, waiter. Oh, sir? that's all right. Really. Would you uh, mind getting me a table? I'm sorry, sir. We're all filled up. Uh, you can sit here if you'd like. Oh, thank you. Just until my uncle, my boyfriend, and my brother, who's a wrestler, get here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, Gordon Elliott. How do you do? I'm Barbara Whiting. <laughs> This is an amusing little place, isn't it? Yes, hilarious. You been doing any gambling? Oh, yes, and it's murder, murder. I dropped a package. Oh, here, I'll help you. <laughs> At the crap table. Oh, oh, you mean a bundle? Yes. <laughs> you know, I stuck with the pass line, roll after roll. And? I flunked. <laughs> well, that, uh, that happens. If I didn't know better, I'd think the dice were swacked. Swacked? <laughs> Plastered? Cropped? Loaded. Loaded, yeah. <laughs> so, since I'd already doubled my money, I decided to quit while I was ahead. Now, that's the sign of a smart gambler. <laughs> that's nothing compared to what I did at the roulette table. <laughs> well, what happened? I threw a croupier. <laughs> you did, really? Well, would you mind telling me just how you... Oh, hello, Miss Whiting. We got your telegram. Everything's all ready. Will you register, please? Autographs, autographs. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's 10.22. Thank you very much. Buggy! Well, I see you finally got one. Yeah, and I feel so much better. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I, I came up to see the act, naturally. How's Barbara? I haven't seen much of her. We've either been entertaining, rehearsing, or sleeping. Don't worry about her, though. She's probably having a ball. Here, I'll tote your barge for you. All right. Tell me, how's the act going? You having fun? Great. Well, hopefully, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. I'd like a single room for the night, please. I'm Eleanor Whiting. Well, I always thought Smith was a common name. <laughs> You've seen my daughter. Well, I presume she's your daughter. She just went up to her room with a gentleman. <laughs> a gentleman? Uh, yes, he's... Uh... Uh, look, young man, I don't care who he is. If I can't trust my daughter, who can I trust? After all, she's sensible, she's mature, she's grown up, and she even votes. <laughs> I'm not one of those mothers who... What's her room number? <laughs> 1022. Thank you. Max Factor now brings you the most spectacular demonstration of a beauty product ever seen anywhere. A miraculous new way to make straight hair stay curly without permanence, without stiff, sticky lacquers. Here's Max Factor Curl Control. Now you may pin up once a week. The rest of the week, just spray your hair. Then comb Curl Control through deep into the hair and arrange curls and waves as you want them. The exclusive ingredient, Protein Polymist, gives your hair a yen to curl it's never had before. Deepens waves. Restores bounce to curls that were made days ago. You'll feel like you've been born again with naturally curly hair, with curls that stay in any weather. For women who have fine hair problems, Max Factor makes curl control in a special fine formula. For all other types of hair, Max Factor Curl Control Medium. $1.50 everywhere now. Oh, I just love traveling. It's so exciting to flit about from place to place. Oh? Uh, where have you been lately? Are you familiar with the Riviera? Yes. Oh. <laughs> How about Switzerland? Oh, now that's the best skiing in the world. Uh-huh. <laughs> have you ever been to Santa Barbara? Uh, no, no. Oh, well, then you really should go up there sometime. They have a fabulous little hotel. Barbara! There. Hi, Shorty. What are you doing here? I'd like you to meet my keepers. This is my 
my mother and my sister Margaret. How do you do? How do you do? Hello. And would you please call the dribbler? <laughs> dribbler? Oh, you mean the bouncer. <laughs> your, uh, your daughter has a language all her own. I'm Gordon Elliott. Uh, won't you sit down? Thank Take you. Take my chair, Miss Whiting. Thank you. Oh, don't leave, Gordon. Don't leave. I'm just going to get another chair. <laughs> no, Miss Whiting. Uh, we met up in Greenland. You were on a USO tour with uh, Bob Hope. Of course. I thought you looked familiar. You were a correspondent, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. Say, you know those boys really appreciated you? Oh, thank you. I, I love singing for the armed forces. Margaret, there's an Air Force base near here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Elliot, I'm so glad that Barbara found you to talk to. You know, actually, this is the first time she's been away from home alone. Mother! What? Excuse me, Mr. Elliot. Your party's arrived. They're right over there. Oh, thank you. Well, I... Say, uh, maybe you and your mother would like to join me for some coffee later, if you're not busy. Well, that would be very nice. Oh, wonderful. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> now, Barbara, I know how this must look to you, but I assure you, we did not come here to spy on you. Of course, Mother. That's right, Barbara. See, Mother was on her way to San Francisco, and I was going to Palm Springs to soak yes, up the sun. Yes, never realized how rude it would be if we didn't stop off to hear Marcy and the boys. Well, after well, all, they're all friends. friends. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to my room. It's way past my nap time. <laughs> Folks, what do we have? I think I'll have a Shirley Temple with two cherries. <laughs> I'll have the same. Make it three, but no cherries for me. I'm driving. <laughs> I see, and uh, that'll be uh, one check? Two checks. One there and one here. Yes. <laughs> now, Barbara, I'd like to say something. We feel that you're perfectly justified that we've behaved very badly. We certainly have. My showing up here was bad enough. But when Margaret arrived, well, it was just too much. <laughs> That's right. Why was I too much? Well, after all, I'm her mother. Isn't that true, Barbara? <laughs> well, what about her sister? Doesn't she have some interest? I refuse to interfere in other people's lives. Well, at least I didn't pretend I was on the way to San Francisco. Well, perhaps you could explain how you reached Las Vegas by way of Palm Springs. <laughs> it can be done. Yes. If you go by way of St. Louis. <laughs> okay, okay, a joke's a joke. Everybody's looking at us. All right, all right. I, I take all the responsibility. It's all my fault. Mother. Now, there's no necessity for being that noble. I don't mind taking the blame. Margaret. There we are. And that's two checks. Three checks. Three. Three. Would you like to match pennies for the amusement tax? <laughs> Can't we discuss this intelligently? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we take a great deal of pride and pleasure in introducing the very wonderful Marcy Paris Trio. Tim. 
temperature rise like a summer with a thousand Julys. You intoxicate my soul with your eyes. Though I'm certain that this heart of mine hasn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy romance. You go to my Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It certainly is wonderful to be back here again after all these months. When we were here before, we were staying for quite some time, and it was... Uh, oh. oh, Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to announce that the Marcy Paris Trio is about to become a quartet. <laughs> While Marcy is packing her bag, we might be able to finish the show if we can get our good friend Margaret Whiting to fill in for her. Thank you. I'd, uh, I'd like to do it, but I don't know any of your arrangements. It's all right. We'll sing one of yours. Well, um... Anything. Do you know from this moment on? Sure. I think it's an E flat. Uh, is C e flat minor, in? uh... What's the matter? What am, what am I doing out here? I should be helping her pack. <laughs> well, what do you expect from a husband who's been eating pickles for nine months? <laughs> well, I guess that leaves us a duet. Come on. Oh. Well, what's the matter with you? You're only your brother. Yeah, but I just remembered. I'm about to become an uncle. That's an honor and a responsibility. I... And I'm one of them who's going to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd really like to oblige, but um, unfortunately, I, uh, I left my accompanist and my arrangements on the top of my bureau at home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Barbara Whiting, and this is our mother. We happen to know all of Margaret's arrangements, and if you'd like us to play for her, we'd be very happy to. From this moment on, here we go. Come well, on. I Sweet lips to kiss me good night from this moment on you and I babe will be flying high babe every care is gone from this moment on May I say you were magnificent. Thank you. The management would be pleased if you would let us send you a bottle of our very best champagne. Oh, 
that's very nice, but we've been drinking Shirley Temples, and I don't think it's safe to switch. <laughs> very well, but your checks are on the house. Uh, all three of them. <laughs> I'd, um, I'd like to thank you for um, coming to my rescue. You're very welcome, Margaret. I'd like to thank you. You're very welcome, Margaret. <laughs> Holy Pete, sometimes I wonder about you two. Are we a family or aren't we? You have 15 seconds to decide on an answer. <laughs> now, if I hear anyone in this family but me acting ridiculous again, I'm going to pack my clothes and move into the YMCA. <laughs> you mean the YWCA? No, I mean the YMCA. <laughs> Barbara, sometimes I wonder who's raising whom. I'm sorry, Margaret. You know, Mother, I think she's more grown up than both of us. Well, there you are. Hey, I've been looking all over for you. You were great. Oh, thank oh, you. You were very sweet. Thank you. I think I'll go on up to my room. No, 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 just a minute, Barbara. I, but I, I thought you wanted to talk to Mother and Margaret. Well, I do in a way, that is. Uh, well, it's about you. Me? Sure. You see, a group of us are going out on a pack trip in the desert tomorrow, and, uh... Well, I was wondering if you mind if I'd ask Barbara to go along. Well, why ask us? Barbara makes all of those decisions for herself. <laughs> oh, I love to, Gordon. Have a cigar! Have a cigar! I'm a father! I'm a father! How do you like that? I'm a father! Oh, congratulations! How's Marcy? Wonderful! I have a happy wife and a beautiful baby girl. Oh. <laughs> Have a cigar. Oh, thank you. I'll smoke it after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and now a word from our other sponsor, Instant Sanka Coffee. You interested in a really two-fisted cup of coffee? Well, why don't you give this brand a whirl? New Instant Sanka Coffee. Here's an instant coffee fit for the man in the house. Hearty, robust, really flavorsome, 100% pure coffee. And you can drink it as strong as you like. Drink five, ten cups a day, as many as you like, at any time you like. And still stay steady as a rock all through the day. Because instant Sanka, you'll recall, is 97% caffeine free. So it can't get on your nerves. It can't disturb your sleep either. Uh-uh. Instant Sanka is the hearty coffee you can drink as strong as you like. That's for sure. That's strictly on the level. You're gonna like Instant Sanka. Max Factor, the first name in beauty throughout the world, has presented Margaret and Barbara Whiting in Those Whiting Girls.